We're on the go with Joe, and he's learning how to create some award-winning wines. The Willamette Valley Grape Harvest is underway, which is the busiest time of year for local wineries. Joe is joining us from Newburgh now with a behind-the-scenes look at Vidon Vineyard. Good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. Yes, so I'm joined right now by David Bellows. He is the head winemaker here at Vidon Vineyards. As you said, you know, harvest is underway. It's their busiest time of year. You guys are hard at work. And how many hours a day are you working here, you and your team here at Vidon this time of year, David? Of course, it depends yeah. anywhere from like, you know, 8 to 12, depending on what we're doing. <laughs> Sometimes so. maybe more. 15, yeah, on yeah, a white so, day. So they started picking grapes, what, I guess, first week of September, you were Correct. saying, right? Yep. And uh, all different kinds. What, what kind of grapes are these that we're looking at here? So this is Tempranillo, okay. which is a Spanish grape that we harvested five days ago. Unique for the Willamette Valley. This is not something that uh, you've seen a lot of Oregon wineries, especially the northern part of Oregon. That's right? true. We are we are pioneers, I think, in, mm -hmm. in seeing whether Tempranillo will uh, ripen here in the Willamette. So, yep. so this has been sitting here kind of just, what, just fermenting? What's been going on here for the past So no, days? for the last five days, we've been doing a cold soak. Okay. So when we first process the grapes, the juice is white. Mm -hmm. And so all the color is in the skins. Yeah. And so we've been... We want it to get that nice exact, dark red color, exactly. right? Exactly. And okay. the flavors, too. And yeah. so we've been pumping over the juice back over the grapes to extract the color out. And so we're going to do that right now. This is, I guess, the last one of these. The last this one. is the last now, one. Now, what is this boom mic looking thing that we have here? So this, this is called, called the torpedo. Okay. The torpedo's away. You just pop that in there. Oh my gosh. Let me yep. get up here. Yep. I need a little step stool. Yep. And so we just sink this down it, to the bottom. Push it straight down. Oh my goodness. Look yep. at that. Okay, I think I lost my wristwatch. <laughs> uh, so that goes down there. And now it's connected to a hose. And then we're going to, what, I guess, Kind of Turn fired up. Oh my goodness! <laughs> and so this is doing what now? This is getting wine from the bottom of the tank. Correct. We're taking the wine, the juice from the bottom. Bottom. It's not wine yet. And we're bringing it up through the hose and the pump and pouring it back over the grapes to extract the color. And so five days ago, that was basically clear juice. And you can see already, we got this beautiful tempranillo garnet you know it's going. interesting you were and so after this you do what's called the punch downs and we're going to show that coming up a little bit later uh and then they press it and it goes into barrels you were telling me it's interesting so reds you ferment it first and then you put it in the barrel and then, and then you press right? and then you press it but with white wines it's you the press opposite, first right? and then ferment right because you don't you're not looking for that color you've already got the color in that i suppose Correct. right right because you could theoretically do that with a red wine but you wouldn't it wouldn't be that color right you and could, you're probably missing a lot of the flavors right. and and beautiful scents as well. My goodness. All right. So we just soak that all up. So from a grapevine to a barrel, how long of a process are we talking here generally? Uh, about three weeks. Okay. About three weeks to getting it barreled down. And you guys are still, you've, you've harvested most of them. You still have some grapes to pick. When do you think you'll actually wrap up your, uh, your winemaking season here for the year? Wrap up in terms of harvest? Yeah, no, in terms of having everything in the barrel and kind of done. So traditionally, um, Halloween is kind of the first day off where we can breathe again. There Although this year, <laughs> maybe maybe in a couple more weeks. Okay, again, Vidon Vineyards, uh, they're located here in Newburgh. They have a beautiful tasting room and uh, great wines that you can enjoy. We'll have more information about them in the As Seen On section at kptv.com. David, thank you very much. You appreciate it. Guys, we're going to walk through a lot more of the process coming your way a little bit later in the show, but a little Tempranillo shower to get your morning started. <laughs> we'll send it back to you in the studio. I love to see how this works. I love to see the process. It's I do so too. cool. Joe, thank you. That's neat.